my dad had passed away in 2018 and he was into drawing and so I started off by drawing his art and then painting his art and so I basically got into my own art style based off of him. I actually got, uh, my camera was given to me in a trade, I actually traded for my camera. Uh, $50 and a hoodie got me my camera, it was Canon T5. And um, you know, it was just something to have at first, it wasn't anything I was gonna take serious, but you know, I started bringing it places that it, most people wouldn't think to bring it. I first got into it in college, I took it as just like a, an elective, you know, I was doing a, just an art degree and I took it and just fell in love with it and stuck with it. I got into art school as a potter and had a class program there and uh, tried it out. It's very addicting. Uh, I also like the fact that, you know, most people their entire lives have been told, don't touch that, that's glass, don't touch it, it'll break, and yes it will, but, and then you get to, like, mess around with this material that's just otherworldly and uh, make these really beautiful things out of it using tools that are 2,000 years old and are very, quite removed from your hands. So it's, uh, it's really kind of a cool process. At least how I tend to work is I will try things and you try them and you try them. <laughs> it's just really hard to learn and then all of a sudden something clicks and it all works. And it's that's so exciting and so gratifying. Uh, it, it's like you, you go along like this and then you learn something and you go along like this and then you learn something. And, you, and when you learn something and all of a sudden you're able to make something that you've never been able to make, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. There's so many different uh, steps to it. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, the process has so many steps, so there's certain ones that are, I mean, just real enjoyable, and then there's certain ones that are backbreaking, and the, the bigger, more complicated, like large platters and teapots and things like that. But I mean, of course, those aren't the thing you sell the most of, because they're also the most expensive, but those are the definitely the most, you know, bring out the most creativity and the most fun to produce and the most challenging as well. I do it for the people, whoever, you know, and until they're, they tell me that they don't like it anymore and they're unsatisfied, then I'm going to keep doing it. I'm focused on capturing you when you're you, in your moment, in your element. That's what I'm trying to capture. It's something that makes people happy and it's a way for me to meet new people and discover new skills. And I hope that doing this and doing it well can help me get to where I actually want to be. Um, I would say it's like a stress relief just because it's me, myself, canvas, and music playing in the background or watching movies. But I am very hard on myself, so I think that every time I mess up on a line, it's kind of stressful. I think the end result is the best part. I'll listen to an album on repeat over and over, um, or I'll go on to like Spotify and have them choose music for me, so I'll pick a random playlist and then I'll let them find music after that. But also, I kind of go on a random music crave and whatever song pops up, if I feel something, that's what the art is going to be based off of. So. These are based off of songs. This one is, actually, well, these are based off of albums. So this is uh, The Lumineers, and this one is based off of Still Woozy. So that's kind of the vibe that I was getting when I was listening to the albums on repeat. So I'll feel it in my head, kind of that idea of what the song is bringing me, but it's also, I guess I have a problem with putting that idea onto paper right in that moment. So I can write all the lines that I want, but it's not going to come out how I want it. I wake up every day at 5 o'clock, then I go back to sleep, and that's when I'd say 90% of all my ideas come to me. And then I wake up and write them down. The area here is just extraordinarily beautiful. There's a lot of incredible nature here, and I would say that everything here is a reflection of different aspects of nature. Uh, all the commercial pieces we do are directly related to the natural wonders of this area. 
you know, there's uh, spectacular colors and uh, natural events, the Blanco River, Jacob's Well, uh, just things that you don't see anywhere else in the world, and they're right here in Central Texas. Um, it's an incredible place to be an artist for in terms of uh, inspiration. Films. I, I watch a lot of films, music videos. I follow a lot of Instagram accounts that kind of like post like, you know, behind the scene type pictures, but just like them while they're there being themselves, right? Where they're most natural because that is like, that's what you could consider art. It's like actually capturing human expression in its rawest form. Probably still my dad. Even to this day, I have a picture of him in my closet, so every time I walk in there to get my art stuff, I, I see it. And every time I look in my own room, it's like, these are other people's art pieces that remind me that I should be doing my own, and it's possible that I can do it myself. That's what really got me into pottery, was that you're making, just not just you making something and being creative, but then that piece goes into someone else's life and makes them happy. You know, they use the same coffee mug every morning and things like that, so that's really, Great to hear when people come in and tell you that. One of the challenges is you can't put it down. Once you pick up the pipe and start, you have to finish the piece. So um, there, that, it's a huge challenge. You know, as a potter, you have to like stop halfway through, throw a wet towel over the thing, go have a cup of coffee. You can't really do that in there. You know, you have to finish the piece, and uh, I like that challenge. I think it's really cool. I generally like the heat, but um, it, gets, it gets very impressive in there, and um, it's, uh, it's very challenging. You know, you deal with the weight, and then you're dealing with the heat. It, uh, the most difficult thing, I, I think, is to be creative when you're terrified. You know, when, when things like COVID come around and you're, everything gets pulled out of your control. And in the midst of all that, and all the fear of what's coming down the corner and around the bend, you still have to be creative. And you still have to reinvent yourself. So yeah, that's, I'd say that's probably the biggest challenge to stop being so hard on myself just because I think it did set me back a little bit. Um, I really liked doing art and I would tell myself that I suck all the time so I stopped doing it until my dad passed away and that was kind of the big piece that I was missing to push me. You know I didn't have a mentor, I didn't have someone showing me how to work a camera. You know it was just here's what you have, here's a machine. Right? And you can learn how to use this machine, how it works, or not. And it was like, I had it, and I just tried my best. Uh, just do it. <laughs> like, there's, there's really, you're, if you think about it too much, it's, you're really going to get yourself set back. Because it's not like you can just, I mean, you can go to art school and do all this stuff, but a lot of the times it just starts off as a hobby. And you don't need art school to know how to do art. You just have to be good enough to do it and keep on doing it. So for those that are kind of stuck in their, their major and they don't really want to do it as much and they really want to pursue art, it's just in your free time, just do it. Don't get discouraged, man. Don't listen to mom and dad. Don't listen to anybody. Just do it because this is what you want to do and it's only the rest of your life. It's, uh, it's not easy, um, but yeah, you just, you got to work real, real hard and perfect your craft and, uh, you know, get out there and it's, uh, it takes a lot of work. It's, it's, it's hard. It's not easy, but it sure is rewarding and it's fun. So, go for it. You just have to go for it. So. Yeah, I... I, uh, I wouldn't have changed it anything. I started this place because I had grown up with a bunch of people that were always like, oh, I wish I tried this when I was younger. I wish I tried that when I was younger. And my whole attitude was I'd rather try and fail than never try. 
And I'd say in the last 30 years, there's at least eight very specific times where I, I was airlines away from failing, but didn't fail. So at this point, I just refused to fail. <laughs>